Um, so do y'all write all of your own music? Uh, so far, uh, we, we, uh, do co-write our music. Um, we're always open to more co-writes. Uh, honestly, I, I love the writing aspect of it. John's more of getting, get on stage and let me, you know, let me entertain folks. Mm -hmm. So, uh, you know, we'll write with anybody. Uh, we write with each other the most, but, uh, oh, yeah. You know, we're not we're not one that oh well we didn't write it so we're not gonna we're not gonna record it or anything like that. We're you know we'll we'll write with anybody and we'll listen to anybody's uh, songs. So, uh, oh, yeah. and write and have someone else sing your music as well. And that's fine too. If there's uh, yeah. if there's something somebody likes, uh, you know, just uh, give us a, give us a shout and uh, yeah, we'll just be glad that you liked it. That's right. <laughs> yeah. Well, I know some artists are like, you know, that's my babies. I don't know if I could, you know, hear somebody else singing them or not. And I think that's a natural thought. But then again, I'm like you, John, I would be like, oh yeah, somebody <laughs> else likes it. Okay. And then I would be curious as to what, you know, I would think as I'm writing a song, and I'm not a songwriter, so I can only guess. Well, you know, I actually want to try it. I think I probably could. I used to write a lot of poetry. But anyway, we'll get there later. Um, it, I don't know. When y'all write something, do you always know that it's intended for you guys to sing? Or are you ever like, oh, this sounds like something uh, Luke Combs would sing or Carrie Underwood would sing? You want me to take that one, or uh, well, you want to go for it? Yeah, like we uh, we sometimes like we got this uh, we got a whole booklet of songs that we've been writing pieces of them that we're, we'll uh, go back later and look at. Uh, if something really doesn't fit us at the time, uh, we go back and uh, at a, you know later time, and if it still doesn't fit us, you know we'll uh, he'll either try to pitch them, you know, with uh, the Nashville Songwriters Association, uh, you know, so. Oh, so y'all have done uh, that already. Oh, yes, ma'am. Yeah, we've we've pitched uh, a few songs already. So, so. If, if something oh, really doesn't fit us, uh, you know, we're, we're more than happy to let somebody else, you know. Yeah. They want to sing it or, you know, whatever they want to do with it. So. Yeah. We're always cool. open to. That is, that's cool. I didn't know that y'all already pitched some. That's, um, that's really cool. Um. If you had, I usually ask this later in the interview, but it just perfect timing for it now. So I'm going to like add to my question a little bit. If you had a magic button that you could just press and say, okay, we've pitched this song and I really hope who picks it up. Oh, no, no doubt about it for me. Garth Brooks. <laughs> ah, okay. I, I've, I've even got... Um, yeah, yeah, so, yeah. Yeah. If if I, I mean, I'd be happy with anybody. Pretty mm -hmm. much cutting anything if it fits them and they have a strong connection with it. But if I wrote anything and Garth Brooks was to cut it, you know, go ahead and, you know, I I, I can I could die a happy man. <laughs> <laughs> right. Absolutely. What about you, John? Uh, I don't know. Like I, I like. Uh, pretty much anybody, but, you know, I've always, really, the only reason I picked up a guitar would, was because of Keith Urban, so if, if something like that happened, that would be, that would be insane for me. So, 